Hello, and welcome to this session where I'm going to talk about how to use customize for baking manifest in Spinnaker. Here we'll just talk about customize and not talk about, you know, is this a better option than Helm or any other? We'll leave all those discussions out of this session. Customize has been supported in Spinnaker since 1.116. It's not enabled by default and you have to enable it by editing the feature flag window.spinnakersettings.feature.customize enabled equals to true. This you set in this file, profiles settings-local.js. Once you have made this change, do a HAL deploy apply for the change to be propagated to all the components within Spinnaker. I've already set up a Spinnaker with that feature flag enabled. Before we go to Spinnaker and look at it, let's look at what a customized uh, manifest looks like. You're all aware of it, I'm assuming, but let's just talk about my example. Now, this is set up in Q uh, Git. Now, that is actually a requirement. Your customized files needs to be available in a Git repo. That's where Spinnaker goes to fetch the customized files. So here I have a deployment that has a service.yaml, a deployment.yaml, and a config map.yaml. Config map sets up a simple config with a greeting and some variables. Deployment deploys a sample app, which is from the customized uh, examples. And finally, I have a service that makes that uh, deployment available through a load balancer. And then there is the customized YAML, which talks about what all to deploy. So it talks about the deployment, service, and config map as the resources to be done. What I also have is some override, which is under overlays. Under update overlays, I have a simple override where I update the config map value all greeting from good, after, good morning to good afternoon. So I'm going to deploy this, first the base, and then I will do an overlay deployment and see this change being picked up. Let's go look at how Spinnaker has to be set up to deploy this customized files into Spinnaker. I have already set up a template or a pipeline to deploy the customized uh, manifest. Let's look at how it looks. So in the configuration, I have set up a repo or an expected artifact that points to the Git repo I just showed it to you. It's a public repo, which is set up, and I've provided the URL to the repo, github.com, my name, which is my uh, organization, and my repo name. I can say the branch to use, and I can also specify some sub path to use. Mine was under customize dash hello world. So I'll just specify that path. Now, as you all know, uh, expected artifacts are used when an auto trigger comes in. Since I'll manually trigger it, I actually define the same thing as a default artifact too. Now let's look at how the manifest stage looks like. So you basically go to the manifest stage, it's of type bake manifest, which is the one that's used to bake Helm. Now if you look at the render engine, other than Helm 2 and Helm 3, there's also this option called customize. And in my expected artifact, I chose the artifact that was defined in my configuration, Tame Panda 5. And then I say which is the customized file to use. Here I'm going to use the base customization file. And then I want to basically deploy it. So what I do is I will make this produce an artifact. Uh, just like you do with Helm, you say the kind is base64 and give it a name, which I'm calling generated manifest. And this would be called warm zebra, zebra. And then to deploy that, I have a deploy manifest, 
where I just deploy it and just use that artifact, warm zebra-38 to deploy. That's it. That's all it takes to bake a manifest from uh, using customize and deploy it. I have some more stages here to just delete it up and clean up after myself. Let's go try to run this pipeline. Like I say, I will do a manual execution and I will run this. What this goes is just goes, fetches it and bakes the manifest. It does it pretty quickly. Within three seconds, it's done. Go, let's go look at how it looks. If you look at it, here is the baked manifest. It shows up. This is the manifest it looks. It has the config map in there with the greeting. It has the service and it has the deployment in there. That's the manifest. Now let's go deploy this. There you go. The deployment is done. It took about 43 uh, seconds to get it deployed. As you can see over here, a service got deployed. This is the deployment and this is my config map already in there. Let's go look at the details of this one. Uh, this is the deployment right there. Uh, you know, uh, this is available in my <coughs> test environment. And this is the load balancer pointing to it. If I click on it, I have to obviously adjust the uh, URL to it. It's HTTP. It's running on 866. And Hello. There you go. It says, good morning, hello. That's deploy, right? Uh, that's all it takes to basically bake a, uh, a cust uh, customized manifest and deploy it and have it deployed through Spinnaker. Let's go clean it up. And then we will deploy, actually we'll not clean it up. What we'll do is we'll not clean it up, but go ahead and deploy uh, the manifest, other manifest, which has an upgrade. Uh, let's pick one configure this. As you can see during the bake stage, I gave what customized file to use. Uh, if you remember my, my, uh, uh, the, the Git repo had an overlay file under overlays update. If I go there, you will see there's this customization.yaml file. So let me change this over here. Now here I'm editing this uh, file, but this could have been a parameter that's passed along um, at the pipeline to say what um, um, customized manifest file to use. So this was overlays and updates let's make sure i did that right it's overlays and update and let me save the change and let's try running the pipeline again so i'm going to start a manual execution again and let's run this like we saw earlier it gets big pretty quickly. Uh, so the baking is done. Let's look at what the bake manifest looks like. If you notice, the old greeting is different from good morning to good afternoon. So it picked up that overlay and baked my file. Now I'm going to deploy this thing. Let me just continue it with this. It will go ahead and deploy the new manifest. So there you have it, the manifest got deployed. Let's look at how it looks. Again, you saw the service got deployed. Uh, we can go look at the uh, YAML for the config map. Uh, the annotation has good afternoon. The service got deployed. The deployment is also done, so we can go look at it. Uh, you notice the service URL is just the same. So let's go to the same thing and refresh and see what we get. 
there you go it changed to hello uh, good afternoon hello so like so there you saw it is that i deployed a manifest file and then i went ahead and uh, applied an overlay on top of it and deployed a new version of it that's how you use customize to deploy manifests through spinnaker just one thing which i'd like to show before uh, i sign off is sometimes if the Git repo has a lot of history, it takes a while to download it, and you will find errors like this, which will say timeout. In most cases, what it means is that uh, Spinnaker took a long time to download the manifest files or clone the Git repo and make the manifest files available. In that case, uh, try to put this into a smaller, simpler repo, uh, your manifest, and then try to bake it. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.